Today we've got something extra special for you. This is a Rolls Royce. This is a Rolls Royce Cullinan, but not your average Cullinan, not your neighbor's Cullinan. This is the Cullinan Black Badge. Now the Black Badge brings a few extra treats. Let's step outside and I'll show you. Specific to the Black Badge, you'll notice the Spirit of Ecstasy Horde Ornament is black chrome, not just chrome, as is the grill and some of the other trim pieces that would normally be standard chrome. If we walk around the side, also unique to the black badge are these wheels, black badge specific, and for the first time ever on a Rolls Royce, colored brake calipers. And standard on all Rolls Royces is the center emblem on the wheel that is always upright, even while you're moving down the highway. Moving along this way, you'll see that the doors are weighted in such a way and mounted with such heavy duty hardware that wherever you position them, they just stay there. And you have a split tailgate Easy to load and very handy for tailgating at the polo match. Inside this Cullinan, there are also a few other styling bits that are specific to the black badge where you might expect to find wood. This black badge has uh, carbon fiber and it's a special carbon fiber process developed by Rolls-Royce that layer upon layer upon layer gives it a geometric 3D depth. And on the gear selector stock, there's a button called low. Press that button, it makes the driving experience more dynamic. You can hear Ryan, a bit of a rumble to the why table. are we still sitting here? Can't we just go? Okay, let's all right. drive. All right, all right, all right, Thank I'm you. on it, I'm on it. The whole point of Black Badge is to attract a more youthful audience and, and get people interested in you know these high-end Rolls-Royce vehicles. So this Cullinan, okay, Rolls-Royce jumps in the SUV bandwagon, everybody's doing them, Bentley's got the Bentayga, Porsche, of course the Cayenne saved the company. Rolls-Royce jumps in the bandwagon and has this monstrous thing. So the entire subframe, chassis, and everything is aluminum in an effort to make it strong but lightweight. And lightweight is sort of a misnomer on the Cullinan because we're coming in at over three tons. It's solid. It does it, everything right. Uh, if you get on it, I mean, it's got good power. And really, this, I mean, this is a V12, and it's a beautiful sound. Okay, this engine, 6.75 liters, and it's a twin turbo V12. It's not just a naturally aspirated, you know, V12. This is two turbos. There's so many people out there saying this is 600 horsepower. Yeah, it's but it's not quite 600 horsepower. So the Black Badge has more horsepower than a regular Cullinan, more torque than a regular Cullinan. It's like roughly 29 more horsepower and 64 pound-feet of torque more. But everybody's like 600 horsepower, but it's 600 PS. 600 Pferdestarke. Pferdestarke. <laughs> which is the same, which is a German word. It's, uh, it's sexy when you hear it, isn't it? It is. Pferdestarke. And we should put, a... forget horsepower. We're going to do PS from now on. <laughs> Fear the stock. It's actually 592 US horse. 592 horsepower. You got that, people? 592. But we're at 664 pound feet of torque? Right. Like monster torque. Yeah. With all wheel drive and all wheel steering, yeah. which in a land yacht comes in handy, does it not? Yes. So this is your first Rolls Royce experience. My right? first Rolls Royce drive, correct. Which is why you're in the driver's seat because honestly, this thing is meant for back here. Yeah, I see so, that. what do you think? I mean, it drives great. It's like a serene experience driving this thing. It's solid, and it really is about as close to being called quiet in here as you can get. And it's got that, that window behind you that. It's a That's a vault window. That's big. like almost like bullet from the glass. Just a reminder should you buy one of these, you cannot, as this sticker shows, you cannot put your dog or other pet in the back. And that's because there's this very thick glass divider here between the cargo area and the human area. And the reason that they've done that is because if this were open, that introduces a lot of excess noise, ambient noise to the passenger environment. So that is sealed off and not safe for animals. But it is quite comfortable. And I don't have to talk very loud for you to hear me because it's so quiet in here. I wouldn't say the ride is isolating or cabin's isolating, 
but it's cosseting. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, you can you can recline that seat a lot, and you've got power adjust for the headrest and everything, right? It's... Yeah, it's pretty much reclined all the way, and I always put my headrest up, and it's nice the way it's at. <laughs> yeah, and we should remind everybody that might be watching that you're a uh, not an average sized person. No, I'm a, I'm a big girl. I'm an Amazonian at six foot two. Yeah. And uh, and there's still plenty of legs. Like oh yeah, I got lots of legs. Like Even with the picnic table in down, fact, I'm this, good. This seat in front of you isn't exactly pushed up either, so you got you got a ton of room back there. But speaking of the cabin environment, the living room on wheels, as it were, it seems to me that this Cullinan Black Badge or not is really meant for these back passengers. There's a couple different seating options you can do back here. You can get three seats or you can get two seats. And we obviously have the two seat configuration because I have uh, beverage holders behind, between here, the nice little glasses that are etched in Rolls Royce in the bottom with their logo. We've got the Infinity logo back here, which is for the black badge, but that's kind of cool. I have a little fridge back there and the button to turn it on down here. So I've got a chiller for cold stuff. I've got my room temperature things here. Then, I've got this knob, which is just like your knob up front. And it can change stuff, not on your screen, but on my screen. And you know what? Mine's bigger than yours. Okay. I get a little fold down technical fiber picnic table here, which is nice. And then I can pop out this screen, which is like 17 feet across versus your, you know, little tiny thing up there. Yeah, that's a really nice tablet size. It is, this is an iPad. Versus I mean, it's this, huge. this, which is, I don't know. 11 inches diagonal, it's a small screen up here. They could make that bigger for sure. And, it, and it, it would be nice if you're following nav instructions to have that bigger. But I can tell you where to go from back here because I have everything back here that you have up there. Nothing in here feels like plastic because I'm not sure anything in here is plastic. And then there's the fun quirky things in a rolls, right? So you don't get like one, two, three, four for fan speeds. You get soft, medium, high, and max. Yes. Soft. <laughs> soft. It's gonna softly blow the air yes. uh, that, where you want it. That's soft like this button here for for low, right? Right. I mean, in most cars, if you want to open up the exhaust and make it sound a little rumbly, it's called Sport Plus or Race or something. Yeah. This is called low. It's called low. low. I don't know why. And it doesn't lower the suspension. It doesn't, like, all it does is open up some resonance chambers in the exhaust to make it a little more throaty, a little more bassy, boomy. Yep. And Rolls-Royce says it gives the uh, it gives the exhaust a basso profundo. I think that's why they call it low, because it really gives it... When you have that on, you get off the, uh, you let an engine break a little bit, it's a... <laughs> uh, driver, I'm sorry, you're going to make me spill my beverage. <laughs> Actually, this handles pretty well. This is all I was going to say that. This is, uh, that's probably the first serpentine bit that I've actually, you know, accelerated nicely through. And, it, and really, for a 6,100 pound vehicle, it doesn't roly-poly too much. No, the suspension feels taut. You're right. You know, while this is incredible at soaking up road imperfections, yep. uh, it seems to respond quite well. Let's find a place to switch. I want to feel right. that V12. All right. <laughs> yeah, some short guy sat, sat over here. Jeez. Oh, yeah. You know what's cool, though? These doors. There's my little button. Yes. So you get so excited about little trinkets like that, right? Like you don't have to use the effort to reach out and, and grab the door. And it's like power doors that's so cool yeah just, just like in a toyota sienna or a honda odyssey <laughs> well that's that's a good point but that's not as cool because those slide those do slide all right let's see what this 592 horsepower can do yes that is 100 percent of the power reserve so there's a cool little gauge on the left hand side it's not attack it says power reserve how much power are you using I just use all of it. It's interesting that there is no tachometer. Now they're saying just you don't need to know if you're in sixth or eighth gear. You can assume that we know all of it. Okay. And in fact, speaking of the transmission. Yes. So it's eight speeds, right? This is a ZF or ZF transmission, and it's eight speeds, which has been revised for the Black Badge. They have something which Rolls Royce debuted back in like 2013, uh, but they still have it called SAT Satellite Aided Transmission. And that actually uses GPS and global positioning, right? All the satellites and radar and everything else to look at the road ahead. It knows that there's a turn coming up here. Uh, so it'll keep me in a lower gear 
to power through that turn. That's amazing. Is it, or is it like, I, I don't know what to think of that. I know, so it can predict that there's a turn coming because of GPS, but it can't predict if you're gonna to wanna to suddenly accelerate or something. Exactly. Which would, which would change what it wants to do. Right, what if I wanted to slow down for that turn? Then it'd have to downshift. But speaking of satellites overhead, Starliner? Oh, yes. That With is shooting that is stars. Cool. 1,344 fiber optic dots up there. And there's no set pattern to the shooting star. Oh, it just every, happens. Every like, now and then you just... And, and you can catch it from the front, but boy, back there, you know, at night, it's really kind of cool to see that. This is otherworldly. It is. It really is. There, there's an aura around it, even from the driver's seat. It's effortless power. It's not, you know, zero to 16, two seconds. That's not the point of this, but it does it in a manner that is just graceful. Yep. It's no drama. It's no nonsense. It's just, let's go. This has an optional paint color called gunmetal, which is uh, very nice. Just under twelve thousand dollars. The immersive seating is uh, eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand dollars. Now, are there, is the screen and the picnic table included in that price? No, 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 no it's no, not. No. So the picnic tables that she mentioned. Yep. It's five thousand dollars basically. Okay. And then the does that include the pop-out screen? I don't think so, because there's another option for rear theater. Oh, yep, that's which the screen. Probably the screen. Yep. That's eight thousand. So speaking of dollars, three hundred eighty thousand base price. And this one's almost uh, almost a hundred grand over that. Right? <laughs> 474175 plus tax title and license. So why would you step up to something like this with such a price differential over, you know, a decked out Porsche Cayenne or even a Bentley Bentayga, right? Which would be in the mid twos decked out. In my mind, I'm not even comparing this to other cars or other SUVs. This is different. This is a this is a level, it's on a different plane. This to me is is not a car so much as a personal expression of the buyer, and it's also bespoke craftsmanship. So this to me is much more like the person who goes to Gulfstream to have the interior personalized for their private jet. I'm so glad there are companies like Rolls Royce that spend the time to craft inside and out. Yep. And God bless them. Thanks, Rolls Royce. Thanks for making this. Thanks for giving us a chance to drive it. And thank you for tuning in. Give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, do it anyway. All things Auto Exotica, the median, sons of speed, rides and drives. It's all here. Hope to see you next time.